Today we're going to look at indices and we're going to be looking at multiplication. Okay, the, the first thing that we, we kind of seem to know is that uh, x times x is equal to x squared. Okay? So what I have here when I'm talking about indices, I have the x there is called the base. And this power up at the top here is called the index or indices, if there's more than one of them, and sometimes we refer to them as the power. Okay? So how does that work? So really what I've got here is I've got x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1. And the way that I work indices when I'm multiplying, so we add the indices together, so it's a 1 plus 1. So what that gives me is x to the power of 2, or as you know it, x squared. Let's see how that works with, uh, with another example. And let's try, let's go for, we'll go for x squared, and I'll go for times x cubed. Right, if I write this out in full, what I've got here is I've got uh, x times x for x squared. And x cubed, I've got x times x times x, okay, times itself. Now if I'm multiplying these together, I'm going to have another multiplication sign in there. So if I look at what I have, I've got x, x, I've got five x's that are there. And that means that that's going to be x to the power of 5. So remember from up above, the kind of way that that works there is I've got uh, x to the power of 2. So that's going to be x to the power of 2. I'm multiplying by x to the power of 3. So I'm going to add the indices and that gives me x to the power of 5. Okay, so a different way to look at it. But generally when you're working with indices, this is the way that you'll be going forward. Okay. Can I get you to, to try a couple of questions? So I'm going to put a couple of questions down. First of all, I'll put down the law that we've just worked on there, or the rule. What we have is if I've got x to the power of any number, and I'm going to multiply it by x to the power of another number, the x, the bases are the same. So what I can say is that that will be equal to x to the power of a plus b, whatever the values would be in there. So that there will be one of the laws that we're going to consider when we're using indices and multiplication. So here's a couple of them for you to try. Let's go for x squared times x to the power of 5. What I'd like you to do is once I write them down, you can freeze the video. I'm going to put a minus 5 in there and see if you can cope with that one. I'll go for x to the power of 9 times x to the power of 2. And I'll just put in another negative index here. OK, freeze the video and try these questions. Right, the answers to these would be, so I'm going to use this law or this rule. So I've got x to the power of 2 plus 5 is going to be equal to x to the power of 7. x to the power of 8 plus a minus 5, so remember that's just going to be the same as minus a 5, so that's going to give me x to the power of 3. x to the power of 9 plus 2 gives me x to the power of 11. And finally, what I have is I've got x to the power of 6, so it's going to be x to the power of 6, and I'm going to be adding on minus 2, and remember what that will be, that will be 6 minus 2, which gives me x to the power of 4. So that's that's multipli multiplication. Just try and remember what the, uh, the rule is. Um, we'll go on to division in the next clip.